Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 January silver question spaced out. So in this question, Farmer John wants to take a picture of his cows, and there are a couple rules. So no two cows can be in the same cells, and in every subgrid of 2x2 two two cells, there must contain exactly two cows. So with four spots, there have to be exactly two cows. And what he wants to do is he wants to find the most amount of quote-unquote beauty in the picture. So if I place a cow in a location, the beauty is just going to be the number that we read in. So for today's question, I'm going to be using Java code that I took from a friend who would like to be credited as Bob the Builder, and we're going to take this code and look at the algorithm. So let's look at the algorithm for this question. So before we start doing this question, there's a key observation we need to make. And once we make this observation, the rest of the question is a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that we're going to place one cow in every row for one box. So what this basically means is for this grid of two by two, I'm going to place one cow in one of these and one cow in one of these. And so what I'm actually going to note is that if I make sure that I only place one cow in every row in this two by two box, when I expand it to an n by n square, we're going to realize that I'm basically going to place one cow in every other location. So for this row, I could either place it like this, so I'm going to place n over two cows, or I could place it like this, also n over two cows. And what this is basically going to do is we're going to simplify the question a lot. So right now we're locking it in place, we're making sure we only place one cow in this row and one cow in this row for every 2x2 two two box. And so what's going to happen is for every row, I'm basically going to choose whether the odds or the evens are greater. So what this means is for every n here, I have a number. So I'm just going to loop through this row and then I'm going to have two values. We're going to call them a and b. And a is going to be the sum of all of the odd values and then b is going to be the sum of all of the even values. And what we're going to do is for every row, we're going to find an a and a b, and we're going to find the maximum. So in this way, we're basically going to find a maximum value in every row. So say this one is 10, this one is 11, this one is 2, etc., etc. And then at the very end, we're going to basically add these values up to get our answer. And the reason we can do this is if I look at my 2x2 two two grid, since I need one in here and one in here, for every row, I'm either going to have odd or even. And so for every row, I'm going to basically be able to do something like this, where they're alternating like a checkerboard, or like this, where they're in the same value. And it doesn't really matter. So what I'm basically trying to say is, if I lock it into place like this, then I know that every row is unrelated to any other row. So I could either have something like this, or I could have something like this, and it wouldn't really matter. And the reason is because all I have to do is in every other square, I need to put one value, because if I put two values next to each other, then it doesn't follow my format. So all I have to do is make sure that in every other box there is a value. And in this way, I'm going to be able to create this two by two. Now in the example question, they do it in a format where they don't have it exactly like this. So what's actually going to happen is, since we know that we're only going to place two values in this box of four, I'm either going to have a format where one is in the top row and one is in the bottom row, or I'm going to have a format where one is in the left row and one is in the right row. In any combination of putting two cows down in this four, what I can notice is that it's either going to fall into the category where one is here and one is here, or one is here and one is here. And so knowing this, all we're going to do is we're going to loop through the grid two times. And the first time we loop through, we're going to do it in the way that there are either odd or even values in every row, just like I just explained. And then we're going to do this and this, take the maximum, and then we'll do the same thing, do this and then do this take the maximum, and we're going to add these maximums up together. 
or we're going to do it in the format of columns. So once I finish the rows, I've added all of these values together. I've gotten my maximum. Then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to flip I and J. So I'm going to create a format where I have columns instead of rows. So I'm going to start here and then I'm going to do every other or every other. And then I'm going to do the same thing for every row. And then for every row, I'm going to have an A and B again, where I'm going to take the maximum of either this and this. Let's say I get three and then four, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to add these together to get my second answer. And at the very end, I'm just going to take the maximum of these two. So again, the reason why we can do this is we can look at this two by two, and we can basically note that every value is either going to be one, one here and one here, or one here and one here. And all we're doing is we're taking in account both possibilities. So we're going to do one possibility where we alternate rows and one possibility where we alternate columns. So if you don't understand, think about it for a couple minutes because I'm going to move on to the code. So I've set up the code below. Again, credit to the code in the description. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to create an array that's just going to be our input. So I'm going to call this R. And so I'm just going to read it in using Java. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create A and B. So again, we're going to loop through the array twice, and we're going to have a row sum and a column sum. So for the row sum, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through, and we're just going to use mod. So we're going to say if j mod 2 is equal to 0, we're going to add the value to A. Otherwise, we're going to add the value to B. And what this effectively does is it basically checks whether or not it's odd or even. So if it's even, we're going to add it to A. If it's odd, we're going to add it to B. And then row sum is going to be the total sum. So we're just going to add the max of A or B. So we're going to add the max of the even values or the odd values. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to repeat the same thing, but for the columns. So I have I and J again, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to add array J I. So in this case, we're going to add the odd rows or the even rows. So if j mod 2 is equal to 0, we're going to add the even rows. Otherwise, we're going to add the odd rows. And then at the very end, I'm going to add the maximum between a and b in column sum. So the code for this question is pretty simple. The biggest problem is figuring out the first observation. So at the very end, all I'm going to have to do is print out row sum and column sum. And that's the end of our program.